we have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane T-Marts, we'll look after you. It's round 16 NPL action here at Lakeside Stadium, South Melbourne hosting Green Gully. And with Oakley taking the three points on Friday night, it's vital South get a win today, John Caro. It's very vital, David. South need to maintain this six point gap over the Oakley Cannons in case of slip ups later on in the season. Today's another big game. We beat Green Gully 5-3 at their ground earlier this season. Let's see if we can do the double over them this year. The boys look pumped and they're ready to go here at Lakeside Stadium. Tim has to float an early one in looking for Lujic. Oh, the weight looked good, but he overcooked it a bit there, Lujic. Watching that one go away, and Theodore will back it up for Epifano. Epifano's done well here, plays the ball in across the face, and cleared there by Green Gully. Looking dangerous early south. Theodore takes that one quickly. Epifano leaves it for Jawadi. That's a nice ball. Yes, it is. It's gotten through the defender. Jamie Reed looks for some tall timber in there. Reed does really well, plays it for Theodore. The head of the goal, 1 0 South Melbourne. Fantastic start for the home side. The shortest man on the field heads it past the keeper. And it was beautiful work in the build up by Jamie Reed. A positive start gives the goal to South. The shortest man stood tall, didn't he, David? As we see, this, this goal was all Jamie Reed's doing. Played through on the right hand side there by Iki Jawadi. He beats his mark, Osagi, Osagi Adoraro, and then uh, chips in across. That's an inch perfect cross. Gonzalez came out but couldn't get there before Matty Theodore, as we see here. Matty Theodore meeting the ball at the near post and flicking it over. Gonzalez into the back of the net. That's a very well-crafted goal. 1-0 to South here at Lakeside. Oh, the boys love that one, and the short man gets the go-ahead goal. The positive attitude is South rewarded. Oh, Reed will go for a long ball there on the right, and here's the experienced Hain. Plays that one in, looking for Asagi at the back post. It's gone across the face, it's open. Timmy Marla. Oh, he's got that one off the line, but in truth, that was a pretty poor shot at the end there. Green Gully should be one all. Great ball to the back post by uh, by Jason Hain there. Sagi Adoraro's shot goes across the goals. Jason Saldaris is beaten and Sanders shot. He goes back past the keeper, but Tim Marla, the right back, luckily is on hand to clear the ball away from danger. Sagi Adoraro meeting the ball at the back post, flicking it across goal. There's Sanders and uh, his shot is cleared off the line by the south defence. Really, it should be one all here at Lakeside. Here goes. Hain again looking for Asagi. The combination worked well last time. Asagi does well to bring it down and Vargas taps it on. Now a chance maybe for Sanders. No, back to Asagi. Asagi with the shot. And the ever dangerous Asagi comes to nothing that time. Vargas again. And there might be a chance played in here. No, that's a great tackle there by Tim Mahler. Epifano, he looks to be hurt there. The ball gone out for a corner and it will be cleared away. Well, Tim Mahler doesn't like it. But more importantly, Epifano looks quite sore there. He's getting some treatment. As uh, Vargas gets ready to stand over the corner. Vargas plays that one in flat. Hatsi Costas gets the header away. Still there. Musa, it's gone up. It bobbles around. Well done, Saldaris. He was alert to that one. The ball was floating dangerously like in a pinball machine. Well, Epifano, unfortunately unable to see it to half time. Tyson Holmes comes on to take his spot in the middle. Asagi plays it into Fleming. Many times we've seen him, as we have with that man, Vargas, who's played it here. Sanders goes, the shot, good save. Well done, Saldaris. He got down quickly with his big left foot and put that one over the crossbar. Another positive move by Green Gully. They're trying to get back into this match, and it's Vargas with a nice through ball there to Sanders. Elects first time to go across goal with the shot, and uh, Jason Saldaris, good positioning there, trying to get his 11th clean sheet of the season. And he makes an important save. We'll see it from this angle a bit better. Shot across goal and Jay Saldara sticks his left foot out and deflects a wide for a corner. Very good save. Vargas. It's Roddy Vargas that time. Wants the foul. Not going to get it. Marla plays it up on the right-hand side. Oh, keeps his feet well. Iki Jawadi. He's got Lujic running for him. Jawadi keeps going. Puts the afterburners on. Great chance now for Lujic. No. Straight at Gonzalez. Perhaps took a deflection on the way through, but... Uh, well, he might have wanted to get more power on that one. Fantastic run by, uh, by Iki Jawadi, and his cutback finds 
finds Milos Lewic. He's trying to score, but it's uh, luckily for Green Gully takes a deflection there off Matthew Reed, and it's saved by Gonzalez. Theodore, the goal scorer, first move of the second half here. Tyson Holmes plays a lovely ball for Lewic. Milos Lujic, he had everything going for him there and he couldn't get it on target. Milos Lujic really should have wrapped the game up here, David. A fantastic cross from this near side by Tyson Holmes, a substitute, finds an unmarked Milos Lujic at the back post. And really, for a striker, he should at least put that on target, but it should be in the back of the net. As we see, lovely cross, cross of the back post. Look at that, he's unmarked and he should have put that on target, but he's blasted it over the bar. Green Gully escaped from danger there. South Melbourne, perhaps ruining that Missed chance, but they'll get it back here. It's played out wide. Timmons puts it in for Lujic. Lujic that time, he did well to reach it, but in the end couldn't quite get a dangerous touch on it. Well, Lujic again with an opportunity to score. In fairness, this was a much difficult, much more difficult chance. Couldn't direct that one on target from Timmons' low cross to the near post. Jamie Reed, he's been very good tonight, Reed, setting up the first goal. That real intent that he's got this time, Timmons. That one's deflected. Luic with the... Oh, Luic across the face of goal. Tyson Holmes, he was desperately reaching but couldn't quite get there. Another difficult chance here that South have just missed. Uh, Milos Luic flicking the ball onto Tyson Holmes at the back post. Unfortunately for the substitute, Tyson Holmes, he couldn't quite get there and deflect that one into the back of the net. Eager will use Holmes that time. Nice turn, Luic. Does well there, the big man. This time he can be a provider. Looking for Jamie Reed. great chance! And he's put it wide. It was a beautiful ball in and South Melbourne, well, they might be made to pay for these missed chances. Well, I hope we're not gonna be made to pay for these chances because it's another brilliant chance that we really should have made something from uh, Milos Lewic this time turning the turning to provide a lovely ball to the back post and it's an unmarked Jamie Reid now steamrolling in. He gets his knee to it, but it goes just wide of Gonzalez's far post. We'll see here, lovely cross to the back post. Jamie Reed making all the ground, but he just can't direct that on target. And again, Green Gully get away with it. Coming forward here, but uh, Timmons should cut that one out. No, in fact, he's been beaten by Asagi. And Asagi, we know this man too well, plays it in looking for Sanders. That cross not his best. The clearance won't quite get away, though. They might still be on with a chance here. Reed with the shots. That's Reed for Green Gully that time, but he puts that one over the bar. The goal scorer makes his way to the bench, getting a round warm, a warm round of applause, and on comes Bradley Norton to take his place in the middle. Liga. Didn't see anything he likes initially, and falls over in delivering that long ball forward. But, uh, might sit for Jamie Reed here. Keeps his feet well. Reed, good save, Gonzalez. The follow up, it'll be pushed wide by the gully play as well. Gonzalez kept Reed out there nicely in South Melbourne. Can't find that second, John. No, they can't, David. And Jamie Reed tonight has done everything but score. We'll see another, another great uh, opportunity for South. But uh, Gonzalez gets his big frame in the way, sticks his right hand out, and makes a very good save. Well, here they go again. Fleming might get something going. Asagi switching to the left this side. He's playing both sides as he so often does. Tries to go through Marla, sets up a chance now, and that one's across the face from Sanders that time. Bit of a disappointing finish in the end. Nice build up though by Gully. Probably Gully's best chance of the second half. Or Sagi, he's been quiet today, but he puts uh, Matthew Sanders through. Sanders rushing with his shots, and in the end, the ball flies well wide of Saldaris' goal. Norton whips that corner in, and a good chance for Lujic, but can't direct his header. Once again, South Melbourne, well. There's a force field on the goal, John. Missing a lot of chances. Another uh, opportunity here for an unmarked Lewis. This time he can't direct his header anywhere near the goals. And it goes well wide. Ball bobbling around there. Sanders tries to get them going. And, uh, oh dear, that looked to be a, uh, a boot thrown in there by Hayne. Hutsi Costas goes in to remonstrate. Musa looks hurt. The referee will have to intervene here. The linesman came on very quickly for that one. And, well... See from the replay here, John, what'd you make of that? Oh, I thought he uh, he stamped on him, uh, Jason Hayne. You see, he flies in there, studs up on uh, James Mercer as he clears the ball. The referee's going to give a yellow card here, but uh, really, could have been something else. Off goes Iki Jawadi, on comes Kobe Boheen, perhaps to eat up a few minutes here towards the end. Ball played high into the middle, South just need to 
Keep their nerve now, and they do exactly that. That is game over. South Melbourne get the three points. 1-0 the result. Wasn't always pretty, John. It wasn't perhaps South's most polished performance of the season, but importantly, they get the three points, and they're exactly where they want to be. It wasn't polished, David, but it was effective. As we see the statistics, South Melbourne dominant, and uh, I think deserved the win today. And uh, did the double over Green Gully this season, and it's three wins in a row now in the NPL. Well, I've got the goal scorer, Matthew Theodore, here with me. First of all, congratulations on a great finish and, again, a great win for South. Yeah, great to get the win again. We've been under the pump a little bit the past month, but we've been staying strong and it was good to get the win today. Now, did somebody forget to tell you the short guys are the ones who are supposed to stay down when the ball comes in high? You scored an absolute ripping header. Oh, thank you. All the boys reminded me that, yeah, I shouldn't have scored a header. But <laughs> So is it true you're going to be giving lessons to Milos this week about how to finish in the air? No, he's still ahead of me in the goals. I'll, I'll just let him do what he does best. Yeah, fair enough. Let's talk about South Melbourne's current run. We've got a couple more games at home. Uh, a couple of wins there would really see us in good position in the run home. Yeah, definitely. There's only, I think, nine or ten games left, and we've got two-game head start from Oakley. So with these home games, it's important that we keep, keep winning here and keep, just keep ahead. I've got the big glove man here with me, Jason Saldaris. First of all, congratulations on the win and another clean sheet for yourself. Yeah, it was a good result for the boys and uh, another clean sheet for the back four. So, um, yeah, pleased with that. And uh, we're grinding out another tough game. So CT said that before the game, you know, the pressure was on us. So we just had to perform under pressure. And recently we've been doing that. So, you know, bring on the next game. And obviously we've got a couple more games at home now. By no means easy, human the Melbourne Knights. But it must be nice to be playing at home and the guys feel settled there. Yeah, yeah, boys feel settled. Pitch is, pitch is not the best, but, you know, we know how to play on our pitch, so it's our home. We take the points all the time, so it's good. Well, so it must be nice as well having Sean Timmons there, an extra option in the back four as well. Uh, things are looking pretty settled in front of you? Yeah, he gets up and down the line, makes a few big tackles, so that's good. Just a bit of strength to the team and a bit of diversity as well. It was a good win today. I mean, Green Gully, a good team, good experienced team, and you know, you've really got to go out there and earn the three points. So I think in the end we, we did that. Um, you know, we didn't have to win and I think we deserved it, so we missed a couple of chances, unfortunately, in the second half. But uh, as a back four, you know, we, we concentrated on it big time not to concede today. And so, you know, we did our job, you know, going forward we score a goal and if we don't concede, we end up winning the game. So we worked really hard to keep that clean sheet, which, um, you know, we haven't done for a couple of weeks now, I think. So it's important to get that again and uh, build off it going forward. Yeah, defensively, obviously, the side was excellent. And I, I suppose it gives, you know, some hope, even though we, we got the win, uh, without having taken on perhaps all our chances, we, we know that we've got another level we can go to in the game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's a bit tough for the guys up front to, you know, they're missing only one or two chances and we're copping a few at the back. So we do our job, um, not just as a back four collectively as a team. You know, we defended well today. And uh, when chances come along, which we do create, um, you know, maybe it doesn't happen for us today, but I'm sure in the future we will take our chances uh, like we have been earlier in the season. Chris Taylor, first of all, congratulations. Another good win. And importantly, we keep a buffer over Oakley, six points ahead still. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anything pretty about what we did tonight, but... Um, yeah, it was one of them hard-fought results that you'll probably look back at the end of the year and, and think we did well, but um, it wasn't a nice game. Um, I thought we controlled the game. I thought we defended very well, uh, but very guilty of missing guilt edge chances. You know, the, the, the one, two minutes or a minute into the second half w was typical of what we did all night. But um, in the end, we got the result, got three points, and that's all that counts. Green Gully's a very experienced side. They're good at um, closing down games and making them a very you know, physical contest. They did that tonight. We defended well at set place, which was uh, one of our problems last time we played them. They scored two or three goals from uh, corners. So um, I thought we defended very, very well. And that, that was the pleasing aspect of tonight. A couple of injury concerns, one particular being Nick Epifano. The other one, James Moose played out the game, so he seems to be OK. But uh, do you think Epp has anything to worry about in the long term? Oh, look, not, not really. I mean, even if he's out for a week, two weeks, that's why we've got the depth in the squad, you know, bringing, you know, the likes of Bradley and Tyson off the bench tonight just shows what sort of depth we've got, and it is a squad game. So, you know, if we have to rotate it a bit, that's good. You know, we've got uh, players that are hungry for spots, and that's, that's a healthy thing.